Hey guys, Multigame Master 1 here and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we potentially wrapped up mostly everything in the Dusty Doom Galaxy, challenged Bowser to yet another rematch, which he ultimately lost, and powered up more sections of the Comet Observatory. But before we go, we actually want to head back to the Dusty Doom Galaxy because there is a speedy comet in its orbit, so let's go ahead, fly to the galaxy, and take the challenge. So, Dusty Doom Galaxy, our speedy episode, Sandblast Speed Run. So pretty much it's second verse, same as the first. But this time we are on a time limit. So, let's go. Okay, let me see if I can get this right this time. There we go. You remember how a couple of videos ago that you could beat this creature by spinning into it? Or you could actually jump on it, but he keeps moving around. There we go. And now let's just continue. With four minutes left on the clock. Alright, so more of these blue star chips are out on the planet. Let's just grab them all. This time I will actually make two trips around the planet to save up on time. And I think I'm stuck here. Okay. <clears throat> so break open this chest, get the final star chip. Reveal the full star path and let's continue. Again, coins, we're not gonna worry about that. Okay, here we have the two paths here. Let me show you what's over here, as I promised. And in my personal opinion, this would probably be the better way to go, especially in certain circumstances like this. So if we go down this pipe, we come across this room again. There's actually a big coin up there, don't worry about grabbing that because that will just activate the musical challenge. And we really don't have time for that. So this is the main reason why I consider it to be a good shortcut, a good path to take, because we're already close to the power star. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention you guys, remember how in the past that it was so tedious of me to pick up as many star bits as I, as I can actually find. Well before I started recording this, I've actually done some research and figured out that we potentially have enough star bits in our account to potentially feed the rest of the pink Pinkumas throughout the common observatory, so um, I'm not going to worry about grabbing star bits anymore unless there are pink Pinkumas to be found in the galaxy. Only then will I make an exception. So if we get here in time, grab the power star, we can keep it. So yeah, with me having ended the star bit search, if you can call it that, I have a feeling that, we, that we'll be able to move a lot more faster throughout this game. So anyway, our work is done in the bedroom. And now let me show you how to get to the engine room, the easiest and fastest way possible. Just walk jump up the bookcase. Step on the screen teleportation pad. And we'll have reached the engine room from there, so let's go on in and have a look. And we've discovered yet another enemy base in the region. 
but we will tackle that a little later. Right now, I just want to move on to the next galaxy, over here, the Gold Leaf Galaxy. Yes, a brand new galaxy that's right before our very eyes. Goat Leaf Galaxy Episode 1, Star Bunnies on the Hunt. Hmm. There's something very familiar about this place. The music is the same, the environment is the same. Well, we have a few more plants, but... Does this remind anyone of the Honey Hive Galaxy by chance? Oh, we even have the bees there, so... So yeah. It's probably just the mirror of the Honey Hive Galaxy. Only in this case, instead of it being spring, it's actually fall, it looks like. Um, so anyway, what we want to do first is grab all of these blue star chips that the star bunnies are searching for. We have another one in this crate over here. And we're not going to worry too much about the enemies because, well, we don't need any more star bits. Okay, I will get this one. Oh, uh, let me see. Any more? Oh, before I forget, let me show you guys something really, really cool. Um, if you look down here, uh, hang on, let me see if I can get this. I got it here. Um, oh, I almost fell off. Can I actually look down that hole? Well, I think there's something down there that's a particular about There it is. So, if we could actually reach for that coin, we have a launch star here. I was thinking about looking down there before heading down there. But, um, I guess that didn't work out too well. So here we have a room that's full of boulders, and we have a coin down there. I'm just showing, uh, I'm just showing this just so that you guys are well informed about this. So we have a coin here and a rainbow star, and you can use it to crush all the boulders, but we're not going to worry about all of them. That's just for future references, in case you guys run short on star bits. Now let's actually return to the task at hand and grab the remaining blue star chips. Let's go ahead and use this swing. Use the launch star to get up to a certain place. Over here. Blue star chip above the water spout. One over here as well. And... Well, let me just show you this. To get that blue star chip up there, you can just ground pound on these three logs. And the last one is right there. Surrounded by piranha plants. So let's go ahead and deal with them. And with all five blue star chips, we will have formed the path to the launch star. So let's go ahead and go up here. As you recall from the beginning of the episode, or the prologue rather, there's a planet with the bunny on it, and here's the bunny. They could catch me, boyoing? Are you seriously going to challenge us yet again? Really? Prepare to eat your words, Mr. Bunny Rabbit. This is actually more difficult than the last because the bunny is able to run away from you more. But if we push this button, we'll have activated some walls that could potentially slow him down. 
Now, if I could actually get him. Oh wow! I didn't expect that to happen. One ki one kick of the block to the no, one kick of the block to the face with the bunny rabbit, and then he just slows down. I I honestly didn't expect that, but apparently you can do that as well to slow him down. Boyoing, you got me. All right then, take this star. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. So thus, the power star is ours. Alright, so save our game. Uh, no, we are good to go. Um, head back to the Gold Leaf Galaxy for the second episode. Cataquack to the Skies. Episode 2, Cataquack to the Skies. I forgot to mention the episode 2. Um, there is... There's a hidden episode in this one, so we are actually going to tackle that one first. Now, I'm trying to recall how you get to it. Um, I think if you go over here, here we have the Cataquack again. Let's just use them to get up to the Slink Star. And, okay, there we go. Okay, um... So to get to the hidden episode, what you want to do is head back here, and you'll come across a little bubble spout. And just basically use the bubble to go close to the tree, use your cursor to ring the bell, and to get the hidden star, you'll want to grab all of these musical notes before they disappear, and just listen. So after having played the water tune again, because Mario was wrapped up in a bubble, the power star is ours. And luckily I was able to get that done in one try. So that was our hidden episode, the bell on the big tree. And now, let's head back in the Gold Leaf Galaxy and actually take on the episode. We don't have to do much backtracking here, we just start at this point and we haven't really gone too far in the galaxy. So let's just go ahead and repeat what we did last time to keep going. So now to keep going, we want to grab this bee mushroom. And use the cataquack to get up here. Of course you can use the stump over there as well. But I'm going to do this the right way. Oh wait, I think... Is it here that... It is here that you need the bee costume. And if we ground pound on this switch, more star bits will be activated. Like I said, not going to worry too much about it, we're just going to move right along because we potentially have enough star bits to feed all of the Hungry Goombas at the Comet Observatory. And... Wow, we just lost our power like that? Really? Okay, whatever. So... We come on this final we of Wigglers and also a Cataquack. You want to get them on this symbol right here. That's where you want him to launch you. And here we have another hedge maze-like planet. And we actually need this cataquack to come with us. To wake it up, all you do is just get close to it. And, um, let me see. Where am I supposed to go? Dead end. Alright, come on, cataquack. This way. Um, I think it's this way. 
Don't clean me. Hey, behind you. Come on. Okay, over here. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, okay, come on. So, Lord the Cataquack, uh, this way? I think it's this way. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Almost there. Get him on this simple, get launched. And you want to do this one last time for this planet as well. And I don't think you have to worry too much about falling off of the planet or getting flung so high because, well, you know, gravity. Okay, so... Come on! Okay, so get over here, catch the launch star, and we are on the move. So here we have another power star over there. Um, let me see what happens if you ground pound on these logs. Okay, star bit, star bit, and star bit. Okay, that was pretty pointless. I have plenty of enemies here. Ow! Okay. Uh, moving right along. I'll just leave those enemies be. So here we have another cataclysm over here and a bee mushroom up above us. Wrapped in a bubble. You want to use the cataquack to get to it. So after having grabbed the bee mushroom and turning back into bee Mario, we can potentially use this cataquack to keep going. You want to make sure not to get hit by those bugs. This is the only way in which you can get the Power Star, because as you remember, or may know by now, Mario cannot walk on flowers in his normal form. Him without the costume. So, that is our next Power Star acquired. And... More star bits, save our game, no. And I think that's going to be the end of this episode. But in the next one, however, we are going to continue our search for the power stars in the Go Leaf Galaxy and hopefully explore some more galaxies beyond that point. So until next time, I'm Multi Game Master 1 and I will see you guys next time. Bye!